If you've got an iPhone, you've probably been using Control Center. But if you've been using Control Center, you've probably not been using it to its full capacity. In this short video, I want to show you a few tweaks you can make to Control Center to be a lot faster at some of the things you might be doing on a daily basis on your iPhone. All right, so on your iPhone or your iPad, where do you go to activate certain Control Center features? So when you look at Control Center, you're going to have certain things by default are going to be there. But uh, if you want to activate a few more things, uh, go to System Settings, and you scroll down a little bit and you're going to see Control Center and Customize Controls. So when you get into the customization section here of Control Center, um, my recommendation is to go ahead and put a few things up at the top and, and then you can change this around. This is just my recommendation for this video. Um, I'm going to cover seven things. Um, notes, dark mode, timer, camera, D&D, uh, &D, which is already up at the top there, built in, and then voice memos. And then finally, uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which are also already built in at the top there. Okay, and then the rest of them, we'll look at a few features of the rest of them as well. But uh, these are the ones I think you can gain a lot of efficiency from. Okay, now that we've got those in order and activated for the control center, let's swipe up or down, whatever may be the case, and bring in control center and kind of talk through some of the advantages here. First of all, with notes. So with Control Center, I'm sure you've figured out with a lot of things, you can long press and it will give you some options. And so this is such a great feature that you can go in here, long press on notes and create a new note or a new checklist or add a new photo or scan a document. Those are some great shortcuts for day-to-day -day use, especially with needing to create a new note really quick. And so boom, you can start typing and take care of what you need to there. So use that notes feature um, if you're using the notes app. Uh, dark mode is next. This is just a on and off toggle to turn dark mode on and off. And you can see in the background, you know, everything. So uh, if you occasionally switch back and forth, that can be a great feature really quick. Uh, if you don't and you just leave that setting, then yeah, that's not one you need to activate. Just leave it out of there. I normally don't have that in there because I always have dark mode on. Uh, next is timer, and I use this a lot, super fast. I'm always setting timers for stuff, whether it's in the kitchen or time myself with some work I'm doing or something, and just hold it down, set the timer, go. Such a great feature there. Number four would be camera. Hold down the camera button in Control Center for a long press, and you get take selfie, video, take a photo, record slow-mo, so just quick access to doing some of the things you're doing in um, camera. Uh, you don't have to long press, you can just tap and then you'll get the camera. Then there's D&D. &D. Now with D&D, &D, of course, you can just tap it and it turns on D&D, &D, obviously. But if you want some options for do not disturb, um, go ahead and long press on the button in the control center and you have the ability to turn it on just for an hour or until the next morning or which I love um, from at a coffee shop or something and I just want to focus for a little bit. I don't want to have to remember to turn do not disturb back off. I just use this option. So until I leave the location I'm at and that turns on D&D &D for that amount of time for as long as I'm there. So uh, a couple of really good options with D&D &D there if you use that feature. All right, next is voice memos. I use voice memos a lot. So long pressing on voice memos will give you an opportunity to create a new recording at the top there and just go really fast. I use that a lot. Uh, I create a lot of recordings for, for a number of different purposes. Uh, a lot of just quick thoughts I need to get down maybe from driving or just not able to type something out. And uh, voice memos is such a great tool and having that in, in your control center makes it really fast. All right, and finally you've got uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth up here. If you hold down on that section, you can access um, some other options here, especially let's say with Wi-Fi, if you were searching for networks here. If you, um, and this one is especially useful, uh, say I wanna to connect to my AirPods. 
Uh, if, if they're connected to another device, my AirPod Pros, then I'm gonna hold down Bluetooth and I'm gonna connect to them here. Uh, that is such a great use of the control center. Um, but you know, any of these other Bluetooth devices, I often will use this shortcut just to jump onto a, another Bluetooth device. Um, and then turning off personal hotspot, which I use quite a bit when I'm out and about, if you have that feature available with your um, cellul cellular service provider. Uh, that is not available if you just leave it like this. You have to hold down long press on that section of the screen and you'll see personal hotspot there. So, so these are seven things I think if you use these features in Control Center, you'll get a lot faster with some of that day-to-day -day stuff you're doing. Uh, there's some other stuff in here too. You know, you may not have noticed this, but if you hold down on the flashlight button, you can get different levels of light. If it's pitch black and you don't need the full on, <laughs> full blast, then just use this one. And so um, that's a great feature to have available to you. Then with the calculator, you can copy the last result on a long press. And of course, if you're not using Apple TV remote, if you don't have, if you have an Apple TV, um, I mean, I prefer this frankly over the physical remote that Apple TV has with it. I can't stand that remote. I want to throw it. So I actually love the app and use that instead. So look through some of the other available features there. The ones I showed you are the ones that I think you're going to find the most useful to make you a little bit faster on your iPhone. If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button if you want more where this came from. I do videos on life and productivity on the Apple ecosystem. So we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks for watching.